All right, so I sanded down the part. I went up to 180 grit. I didn't go all the way to 220. I just don't want to risk it uh, sliding off too easy. So now I'm just gonna wipe it down with some acetone just to make sure there's uh, no grease on it and it's as clean as I could get it before I start coating it with resin. So same as before. Not much to it. This is a much smaller part than uh, the monkey mold, so I definitely don't need a lot of resin. So it is a four to one ratio. I mean, honestly, this is gonna be like 10 grams worth of resin. So two, four, six, eight. So I'll do 12 grams of resin and then three grams of hardener. So that'll be, in theory, plenty good for this part. That should be good. Now, all right, so there's that, and I'm just gonna pour the sucker down. All right, so I'm gonna let it sit like this for a second just to really get it all out of the cup. All right. I'll move that over there for the moment and just like the last one just go in and start brushing the resin Okay, now what I'm going to do is just take this leftover resin and just use it to kind of coat the flange areas a little more. There we go. All right, that's trash. That's trash. Grab a toothpick and just take this crap out. There we go. All right. I'm gonna let this dry and then uh, sand it just like the other time and recoat it. All right, so this uh, is cured now and I'm gonna just start sanding it with 120, work up to 220, get it much smoother, get rid of all these little uh, flakes, if you will. And then just uh, coat it one more time and it should be ready for primer as soon as I sand the second time. But yeah, same process as the, uh, the mold video. Not much to it, just sanding away. All right, just finished uh, sanding the mold. So as you can see, nice scuffed up orange tone. I'm really happy to see that because that means I'm sanding resin and not uh, filament. So to me, this is always a, a good sign. So I went up to 220, nice and smooth. And uh, I could go high, I'm not going to because I do want some grit for the uh, resin to stick to. Now I'm just gonna clean it off with some rubbing alcohol and coat it with another layer of resin. So just like the last time, not much to it, just same tedious process, but it's, it's a, it's a process that works, so gonna keep doing it and 
yeah, I'll just fast forward to that bit. All right, got this sanded, got it cleaned with uh, acetone. It's good to go for another coat of resin. So it was 12 grams of resin last time. It's a four to one ratio. I think I'll do the same thing just because I think if you go too low, it might create more problems. So, and just like last time, just pour it all around. Let it go wherever it wants to because we'll spread it all out in a second. So that's it. Now I'm just going to keep an eye on make sure no resin falls into the uh, the inner surface area. I gave it a light coat, but as you saw, but nothing too crazy. And most of it is on the outside flange area. Then what I'll do is I'll just grab, I don't want to risk that getting stuck or ruined. So I'll just level it like that. There we go. Like that. There we go. Done. All right. So this is cured now and it's ready for its final sanding, just like the other one. Uh, the primer I'm using, technical sheet says for plastics and such, it wants me to sand it to 220. So again, just like the other one, I'm gonna sand at 220, then use my adhesion spray just to help the primer stick to the, uh, the surface a little better. But same thing as always, same thing as last time, just a little sanding, get it nice and uh, leveled to the best of my ability because the high build primer is really where I finish it off. But yes, almost almost ready for that primer stage. So here I'm just using one of the, uh, the sanding blocks I have and just like the other one, not much to it. Just start sanding away and getting the uh, the whole surface scuffed up and ready for primer. All right, so here it is. I got it all finished up, sanded. I actually went to 180. Started doing 220, it felt a little too smooth for my liking and since uh, I'm gonna be applying two layers of primer and I do want it to stick very well, especially so when I release the parts it doesn't come off. 180 is going to be great because then I'll sand the second one to uh, 220 and then primer on top of that again. Alright, so I've been quite busy with other molds as well, but here's the, um, the heat shield one. So just put a base coat of primer on all these, including this one, and did a light misting of just black paint. So I'm just going to let this dry until tomorrow because it's the 2k uh primer high build it probably could get sanded a lot sooner but i'm in no rush and then i'm just gonna sand it so it's perfectly leveled um using the black mist as a way to see the high and low spots and then uh, obviously i gotta do the same thing to all these other molds but since the breakdowns for this one so that's what i gotta do here and then once that's done i am just gonna primer it one more time start wet sanding it, polish, and this mold's gonna be ready for the carbon fiber stage. All right, so here is the final part, primered up. And now I'm just gonna start wet sanding it from 800 and work my way up to 3000, just like the other mold to get this as smooth as possible. And that will wrap up the, uh, 
the mold process. And then last but not least is going to lay down carbon fiber and infuse. And I'm gonna try a method that I did for my other project where I could actually create a full on template, how to cut the carbon fiber with the distortion added to the, uh, the curvature of the part. So that will be on the computer side back in the 3D software. So if that does work, I'll make a video on that stage as well because it's really cool. I did it for the headlight and it it's wonderful. So yeah, just sanding away, not much to it. Um, not gonna really record that process, but you get it. This is the mold now. It's polished, semi-polished, like it's not crazy glossy or anything, but for what I need, it's perfect. And I'm about to start applying wax on it. Give it maybe 10 coats tops. And then lay down the carbon fiber and infuse here shortly. So about to start making this little part. There we go.